Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Tesla in the Gong coming to you with another interesting video. People who follow my blog would have already met Superman. Here he is in the flesh, standing tall among a sea of internal combustion engine cars. Let me take a moment to remind you all to hit that subscribe button and a huge thank you to everybody who has already subscribed to my channel. Now that's all done, I'm going to now show you how I completely wrecked my alloy rims. As you can see here, I did scrape against the curb which has resulted in a nasty aberration. It covers about 180 degrees of the circumference and to be honest, I'm feeling really terrible about this. Terrible more so because there's a backstory to this. Not too long ago, I had the same wheel refurbished by a Tesla recommended company called Wheel Wizard in Mascot, Sydney and now this. I'm sure you are all thinking that I am a nasty driver and I should never be let near a Tesla ever again. But I really needed a quick fix to this and that's where these guys come in. Rimskins.com.au And it is a great Australian invention. Oh yeah. I have to make a disclaimer here. I am not associated with Rimskins nor are they sponsors of this video nor my channel. I just found them on the internet and I thought it was fantastic and I wanted to share my experience with you. So on their website, they have a video talking about Rimskins and how it should be applied. There is an online store where you can buy the Rimskins and inside of Australia, the shipping is free and that's an added bonus for us here. I chose the grey version because I have a 20 inches sonic carbon wheel. There are other colors available too and maybe in the future, I might look at buying a blue to match Superman's body paint. Now this is how they are shipped in a nice small ergonomic package and I bought one for each wheel because I thought I might as well match the looks and make it as a design feature. And when you unravel the loop, this is how it looks like. It's got an adhesive surface covered by orange tape in the middle and it's got a thicker outer edge and a flatter thinner inner edge. Step 1. They recommend that we wipe the edge of the rim with a paper towel or a microfiber cloth. The product comes with something called a prep wipe which is more like a wet wipe to further clean the edge and make it nice and dry ready for application of the skins. The shape of this is quite unique. As you can see, it's got a thicker outer edge and a much thinner and flatter inner edge. It is this thicker outer edge which lines the edge of the rim, like so. And they claim that it would protect the rim from further damage. As you can see, it does cover the entire width of the gutter rash and I'm really really happy about that. I must say, that the quality is quite good and I really believe it when they say that it will protect from further damage. Also, I've applied it to the other wheels which are not damaged and I'm hoping that it will protect me from this terrible disease, gutter rash. There you go folks. So this is how it should have looked but instead I was able to get a quick, easy and cheap fix and I'm really happy about it. I must say that when I was searching for a solution to my problem, I did see a lot of websites from USA and China which had similar products, but somehow they seemed a lot more difficult to install and it did not seem to completely address my primary concern, that is, to cover the existing gutter rash. And that's why I chose rimskins.com.au and I'm really happy that it was an Australian company which gave me a solution to my problem. That's all folks, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. If you're planning to buy a Tesla Model X, Model S or a Performance Model 3, please do use my referral code which is in the description below. I'll see you very soon in another interesting video. Until then, peace.